All right, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining um, second panel discussion on digital transformation of provider ecosystem built over NewGen One platform. We did first session and we spoke about a lot of challenges and opportunities and we'll continue our discussion today as well. With us, we have Rene Santana, who's a healthcare leader having 20 plus years of uh, health plan experience in various departments, including operations, IT, market, etc. We have Andrew Saparicho, who is our subject matter expert for providers, having several years of experience in helping new gen health plan customers transform their operations. The moderator is me, Saras. I'm the client partner for several strategic customers, having 21 years of experience. Moving on, uh, let's let me recap of what has been done in past in our panel discussion. We discussed what is provider ecosystem in a health plan. We discussed how important are providers in a healthcare organization. Then we discussed what are the top challenges health plans are facing today in this changing world, especially during pandemic. We discussed what is the industry doing to solve for the challenges faced in these organizations. And in the last, we saw how Legion is helping health plan, especially with the provider challenges. And if you have missed our first panel discussion and want to know more about these things, we encourage you to please see, see that 20 minute panel discussion. Moving on, on, on what we want to discuss today, I'll present the next slide. And I will invite Rene Santana to talk about operational challenges in, in provider ecosystem in a health plan. Rene, please. Thank you, Saras. The top four challenges within a health plan ecosystem are how to expedite a provider um, to be active and visible to a member. And is the process fluid enough to create a scale that we can quickly um, scale up and while being in compliance and meeting our regulatory, uh, um, our regulatory agencies, their expectations as well. So strategy of balance also with labor and turnaround time um, as the regulations change are increasing in demand for utilization of automation. So a lot of the provider ecosystem challenges in a health plan all revolve around the, the ecosystem and turnaround time and scalability. Basically, how, how expedited can we load a provider and with accuracy um, and speed? Rene, you are uh, on spot here. The four points that you have spoken, compliance, labor, turnaround time, scalability. That's the top challenges most of the organizations are facing today. While talking to various um, health plans, whether it is IT leadership or whether it is business leadership, we, we, we commonly hear compliance and scalability at the two top points. During pandemic, we have also started hearing labor problem which definitely impact the turnaround time. Moving on to the next slide, um, how is IT uh, helping solve the provider ecosystem operational challenges? Um, let me invite Andrew to talk about it. Yes, so uh, there's kind of four areas that we've targeted down to solve um, that the industry is facing around um, provider ecosystem challenges. So the main challenge um, that we solved um, is with the provider accelerator solution. Um, so essentially building, uh, having a solution already available um, and ready to deploy um, increases the speed uh, and also increases the efficiency and quality of the product coming in. Um, a standardized process um, will allow for minimum changes and, and allows to get set up as quick as possible. Uh, we also have integration, um, faster ways to integrate with the processes. Uh, a lot of core systems have to be integrated on the provider side, uh, claims, credentialing, 
uh, provider uh, directory systems. All those have to be integrated together. So we set up essentially um, faster ways of plugins um, to quickly integrate with the different types of uh, systems out there. Uh, the number one challenge going into different health plans have been um, how their data is structured. Every single health plan has their data structured differently. Uh, so when we go in, we want to make sure that the data is set up uh, in the way uh, that it can be captured by our system or vice versa, depending on what the client expects. Um, so that's a big part of one of the main challenges that are that's across the industry. So we want to make sure we do that the most effective way. Uh, provider co uh, co uh, cohesion across the different departments. So we want to make sure that every single department that's within the provider space is being accounted for and they're, they're having their processes built within the process. Our accelerator covers the different departments like configuration, credentialing, network, markets, etc. to make sure that all the systems are functioning correctly and built in within our system. Yes, thank you, Andrew. And if, we can, if I can spend one minute on solution accelerator definition, I think um, starting last three, four years, we are seeing that speed, speed to market um, and with the ability to change based on organizational operate, operation style of working with an ability to continuously enhance based on the changing market operation and um, industry requirements. So by solution accelerator, it means that the IT vendors are providing a solution which is 70% ready and balance 30% is configured, developed, integrated and changed based on each organizational operation, operation style of working. So it is not a point solution. It is not a 100% pre-developed solution, but it gives a quick start and quick go to market. Moving on, um, Andrew, I would like you to spend, let's say, some minutes on Nugen Provider Ecosystem Accelerator. Uh, what does it do? How is it helping the organization? And what is what is unique about it? And um, from any other system and solution available in the market. Right, so uh, we our Nugent Accelerator breaks into four different modules. Self-service, um, which consists of uh, a way to capture the data of the uh, providers or facility information up front um, and effectively share it downstream. They're able to change their information after they already in an existing platform. Uh, this currently in the market is not something that's really happening. Um, maybe other domain spaces are doing this, but in the healthcare industry, it's not really something that's been captured before. So we're wanting to take away the onus of the health plans from going through and having to capture data and, and do data entry work, but instead have our providers and, and partners uh, capture their data, enter it, and, and really own the data that they're passing to the health system. Um, versus vice versa currently. On the onboarding side, um, this this area um, is really about trying to automate with speed. Um, currently today, cases can get bogged down within the different departments, uh, take time, um, really have um, you know struggles to, to manage their inventory and so forth. So with our onboarding solution, we want to push the cases through fast, but also smartly, smart. So we want to make sure we have rules in place. We want to make sure we have robotics. We want to make sure that the cases get through the system as efficiently and quickly as possible and, and really reduce the time that they can get bogged down within the system. Our contracting module is all around making um, standard and non-standard contracts, depending on um, the certain circumstance, and really provide a good customer experience um, during the contracting phase of the process. We want to make sure that uh, that all the different areas that has to touch a contract within a department, legal, finance, configuration, network, can all see these contracts and really make their changes to them and make sure when, they, when the contract's given to the provider or um, different organizations that you know they're happy with the, con uh, the outcome of the contract. 
Our lead management solution is all about connecting with the providers. So if there's any um, certain circumstances where we need to connect with them for information or we want to reach out to different provider groups, our lead management system allows us to take the information that they have and uh, essentially capture it so that way uh, we can help properly sort and organize our, our leads um, and make sure we can follow up with them accordingly. So the overall solution with this is about taking time, speed, um, quality, and, and a really end-to-end -end process that's truly um, differentiating from what's out there in the market today. Yes, great, great insights, Andrew. And I will add on by saying that self-service is something very unique in the market, which NewGen is doing. And uh, um, it is something like banking. If you if you think about whether we are doing retail banking or corporate banking, we hardly visit any branch. We hardly call customer service. We hardly send any email or faxes. Most of the transaction operations by B2B business or B2C is done through portal, mobile app, or self-service. That's, that's where we want to take um, health plans provider operations to something called self-service. And um, after having uh, two decades of experience into this industry, NewGen Provider Ecosystem Accelerator self-service module is, is definitely a, a, a unique, it's a true digital transformation approach of solving a problem. After seeing what, what NewGen is offering, I would like to invite Rene to talk about the benefits of uh, NewGen provider ecosystem, whether those are cost benefit, those are star rating benefit, those are operational reduced turnaround time benefits. Rene, please. Thank you, um, Saras and Andrew. From a business perspective, um, the benefits of the provider ecosystem, when, when you're looking at your network, and you want to make sure that you have qual a quality network, this is what this brings. Um, because what, what was built is you are able to look at your, um, your providers that are interested and if they're quality providers, um, which definitely affects your STARS um, and HEDIS scores. In addition to that, you want to make sure that it has you know, enhance uh, sustainability, which um, the accelerator does. When you are faced with, you know, CMS that says, hey, we need to make this change. It has to be made within, you know, 30 days. This system allows you to make that change, whether it's a, um, a communication to a provider, a member, and it is, um, it's done with ease, right? So there's also like audit trails because that's um, one of the things being part of the business you want to, to make sure. And then also your turnaround time, right? So you want to make sure that um, you input something that is quality and you have very fast um, turnaround time. And then the, the members can see your providers, you know, on the, online. So it's a very accelerated quality based system. Thank you. All right, Renee, thank you very much. And definitely in any health plan, star rating and HIDA score are very, very important because it impacts the health plan in, in a big way. So NewGen solutions always try to definitely bring, bring efficiency to reduce operational cost, operational turnaround time, but at the same time, we pay due importance that how our solutions can help improve star rating and other compliance parameter. Moving on, uh, this is very, um, this could be transactional, but very important slide. A uh, lot of health plans are asking us that, okay, the solution looks good, but uh, is it like a five-year implementation plan? Is it like a, a three months implementation plan? What is the journey looking like? So we thought we'll include this information and uh, I'll invite our expert Andrew to talk about it. Yes, so 
Um, within that, we, we expect that within six to 12 months, we can deploy uh, the full um, accelerated solution, um, with a course would be in phases. Uh, within that, um, the first thing we do is we have to validate what's actually there um, in the ecosystem today um, with the different um, health plans. Within that, we, we break down, um, you know, how are their data structured? What are they doing? Um, high level. Then we go into the analysis phase where we, we really dissect uh, down um, what are the requirements they need and really adapt our system to meet those uh, particular requirements. Um, so around 80% is there, the other 20% we're really breaking down and, and, and setting up. Um, so it's in, in that way. Um, during the configuration phase essentially is when we're going to be doing uh, the configuring, um, developing, integrating, so forth, to make sure we really cover all the requirements that were set up by the, the customer in our team. Uh, then we go in and we test and deploy the accelerator. So getting that into production, um, not only uh, as quick as possible, but also that the best quality as possible. We want to make sure that when we're um, when it's finished, that it's a, a solution that everyone's happy with um, quality wise and, and bug free. And then we typically go into a monitoring phase. We want to make sure if anything does come that it can get solved quickly. Um, we can diagnose the issues if there's any that come, and then we can really optimize the system um, with further enhancements. Um, for for example, if there's any kind of additional state requirements that come in um, um, or anything else um, that needs to be integrated after the fact. Uh, so that's kind of the, that's the process that we take um, when we're setting up these accelerators. Sure, thank you, Andrew. Uh, with with time to production slide uh, completed, this brings us to the end of the second panel discussion. We will have one more panel discussion that will be the third and the last panel discussion on our provider ecosystem accelerator journey. Um, we thank you everyone for uh, joining with us to listen to this panel discussions. If you have questions, please email us. Good day. Thank you very much. Thank you.